Hi everyone, I'm Carolyn, and this is another edition of Fulcrum in 4, where we give you a look into some of the new features in Fulcrum. Recently, we've added some exciting updates to allow you more flexibility, more accurate job costing, clear information at a glance, and overall fewer clicks across the platform. First up, we have some exciting updates to labels. With Fulcrum, labels bridge the gap between the physical and digital world with QR codes. Now, you can customize your item, job, and receiving labels, and create multiple templates to include the information important to you and your team. You can add rows here and include additional fields like customer PO number, job priority level, item description, and more. Templates can be saved and you can select which you want to use when you're printing. You can also adjust the size of the label and the size of the QR code on the label, allowing for greater flexibility. Next up, we've made some improvements to get you more accurate job costing and time tracking. Sometimes things go wrong and people forget to start and stop timers. So we've added some features to time management to allow you to make quick adjustments. Now you can edit the job and operation timer from the time management page. We recommend assigning a team member to check in here at the end of every day or every week to make any needed changes. Job costs will recalculate accordingly. We've also added the ability to delete time records by clicking on the trash icon here, making it easier to fix any discrepancies. This update is part of an ongoing effort to maximize the accuracy of the data within Fulcrum. High quality information is extremely important because the system's reporting, scheduling, and recommendations are all based on it. If you want valuable and actionable insights, you need to make sure the data going into Fulcrum is as accurate as possible. Another top priority for us is to make sure you have an at-a-glance view as to what's happening on your shop floor. To provide more clarity on the auto schedule, you can now see the order of operations on the operation card. This is particularly useful for jobs that run the same operation at different steps and gives you a bird's eye view so you can quickly make changes when needed. Next, you'll be able to easily see what's holding up a job with the material missing tags now visible on the auto schedule, work orders pages, and job grid. This tag was already shown in job tracking and has been expanded to these additional pages. By hovering over the tag, you can see a list of what material is missing. We're working to make Fulcrum as easy to use as possible. And one way we're doing this is by reducing modals. Previously, when you wanted to create a quote or a sales order, you had to fill out the information in an isolated pop-up. Now you will see a side panel that allows you to interact with the rest of the page, similar to how other interactions in Fulcrum work, like the purchasing planning and items grids. As always, there's more updates than we had time to cover here. So if you'd like to see everything, visit fulcrumpro.com slash product dash updates. Or if you'd like to see how it works in your Fulcrum instance, reach out to your launch manager or your customer success manager. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time.